Well, I like to impart my love of art to the other students. I, I have a wide history of art. I have a wide, vast knowledge of art, and I like to impart that and share that with students. My family, I'm a fifth generation teacher. So in my family, you're either a cop or you're a teacher. I'm Mrs. Brown, I teach art here. I've been teaching art here at Highland High School for 25 years, long time. What is art to me? It's basically a nonverbal communication. You can communicate anything. You can communicate feelings and emotions and you can send messages. You can get people to move and change their way of thinking with art. It's, um, it's a brilliant way of communication. You know what? I get inspiration everywhere. Um, sometimes I'll hear a song on the radio. Sometimes I'll see a picture in a magazine. Um, sometimes I'll see like parts of a commercial. Um, it doesn't always have to be a visual cue. Sometimes it's, it's an emotional cue. Sometimes it's a thought process. Sometimes it's from dreams. But I usually relate most of my artwork to the things that I really like to do. At this point in my life, there's um, certain topics that I like to cover. One is I've, I've found that I've always liked to do women in costume. I think women are strong and courageous and they're incredible creatures. You'll find them throughout all the different cultures they'll have different kinds of costumes but you have these beautiful faces and bodies and then they're in costumes so I love doing that and what's really cool about uh, doing my artwork now is I can do it for what I want to do it for I don't have to do it I love to do it in art since 1974 I'm not gonna have to say how old I was but let's just say it was before kindergarten or kindergarten I should have brought my paintings. I still have them, Frank. Hello, my name is Frank Navas. I'm teaching art here at Highland. Well, it's other than, well, it is both aesthetic, but also it's technique and skill. Uh, for me, my passion is oil painting, but it's also trying to express or capture uh, either a person or a landscape with something photography or memory cannot capture. You're trying to capture, what, according to uh, academics in the art field, uh, for years, it's to capture the essence of what they, who they are or what it is. And this was a, somebody who used to teach here at uh, Highland High School. Uh, he retired a few years ago, so we drew, I drew his portrait. And the third one over there is an estate painting done in the re Italian Renaissance style of um, the Dutch painter Rita Griste, who drew the estate paintings for the Medici family. It's a landscape I did. Uh, the, believe it or not, that's supposed to be a cloud. It is not a flying UFO out there in Teatrope. And it just the cloud looks so weird. Uh, the, the way the uh, sunlight was hitting from the bottom. What? I'm sorry. Do I believe in what? Aliens. Uh, I have to see one to believe it. An actual living one, so, at the United Nations. I sort of approach art like I approach the, the, what, how I listen to music, and I like all kinds of music. So I really like all kinds of art because I can appreciate how it was made. You know, you can, you can see uh, an oil painting from, you know, 400 years ago in Europe, and you can understand the, the techniques and that they had to make their own paint and that they had to do a lot of the work themselves and they had to learn how to paint. And then I can look at some modern day stuff where they're using paper to create different kinds uh, so it's it's difficult I, I could not I could not pick one I do kind of have a love of watercolor painting myself so um, a lot of times if I see watercolors I can sort of connect with those a little bit more but um, sculpture paintings even graphic arts sometimes I look at a t-shirt and go wow that that's a really cool design so I find I find um, that all forms of art, I really do enjoy all forms of art. And, and we're surrounded by art, by uh, thousands of artistic images every day. So it's kind of cool. We don't realize it, but we are. You draw when you're little, you keep drawing, you get better and better and better. Um, everybody can be a great artist, but not everybody wants to, to put the time and effort into it. It's just like a major league baseball pitcher. You don't walk onto the mound and pitch a perfect game. You you have to spend years and years and years practicing and getting better and it's the same thing with art, it's the same thing with motorcycle racing, it's the same thing.